Have you ever felt an unexplainable chill run down your spine for no apparent reason? A sense of dread that makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up? That's how I felt every time I passed by the old graveyard down the street from my house. I've lived in this town my whole life, and that graveyard has always been there, looming over the neighborhood like a silent sentinel. As a kid, my friends and I used to dare each other to run through it after dark, thinking we're invincible and fearless. Little did we know the horrors that lay beneath those ancient headstones. It all started a few months ago when strange occurrences began happening around town. People would report seeing shadowy figures lurking in the graveyard at night, and sometimes they'd swear they heard blood-curdling screams echoing through the tombstones. At first, I chalk it up to overactive imaginations and urban legends, but then the disappearances began. The first was Old Man Jenkins the town's eccentric hermit who lived in the ramshackle cabin at the edge of the woods. He'd been missing for weeks before anyone noticed, and when the police finally investigated, they found his front door ajar and signs of a struggle inside. The trail went cold at the graveyard's entrance, as if he'd simply vanished into thin air. Next was little Timmy Wilson a bright-eyed boy who left to play in the park across from the graveyard. One minute he was happily swinging, and the next he was gone without a trace. His distraught mother claimed she saw a dark figure beckoning him towards the graveyard's rusted gates. But no one believed her. They said the grief had driven her mad. With each passing week, more and more townspeople disappeared, all seemingly lured towards that cursed graveyard. The police were baffled, and a palpable sense of fear gripped the once peaceful community. It was as if an ancient evil had awakened, hungry for souls. I tried to convince myself it was all just a coincidence, but deep down, I knew better. The graveyard had always unsettled me, and now its sinister presence was becoming impossible to ignore. One night, I decided to take matters into my own hands. Armed with a flashlight and a pocket knife, I ventured into the graveyard, determined to uncover the truth. The rusty gates creaked open with an eerie groan, and I stepped inside my heart pounding in my chest. The shadows seemed to stretch and twist around me, and the air was thick with the scent of decay. I made my way through the maze of crumbling headstones, my footsteps crunching on the fallen leaves and twigs that littered the ground. Suddenly, I heard a faint noise, like whispers carried on the wind. I froze, straining to make out the words, but they remained just out of reach, teasing and taunting me. Pushing forward, I followed the sound deeper into the graveyard, the darkness enveloping me like a suffocating blanket. That's when I saw it, a faint, flickering light emanating from behind a large mausoleum. Cautiously, I crept closer, my palms slick with sweat. As I rounded the corner, I gasped in horror. I whirled around to see an elderly woman dressed in flowing white robes, her eyes shining with an otherworldly power. In her hand, she clutched an ancient tome, its pages fluttering in an invisible breeze. With a thunderous voice that seemed to shake the very earth, she began chanting in a language I didn't recognize. The creature howled in agony, its form twisting and contorting as if being torn apart from the inside. Suddenly, a vortex of swirling energy opened beneath the creature, and it was violently sucked inside, its agonized cries echoing through the graveyard. As quickly as it appeared, the vortex snapped shut, leaving an eerie silence in its wake. 
The old woman turned to me, her face lined with wisdom and sadness. You have witnessed the ancient evil that has plagued this town for centuries, she said, her voice now gentle and soothing. A malevolent spirit that feeds on the souls of the living, luring them to their doom with promises of eternal life. She explained that the spirit had been imprisoned within the boundaries of the graveyard by a powerful coven of witches long ago. But its influence had grown stronger over time, allowing it to manipulate the minds of the vulnerable and draw them into its trap. With a wave of her hand, the old women summoned the spirits of those who had been taken by the creature their ghostly forms emerging from the shadows. One by one, they thanked me for my bravery and determination before fading back into the ether, finally at peace. As the first rays of dawn began to peek over the horizon, the old women turned to leave. Her work done. Guard this place well, she warned, for the evil may return one day seeking vengeance. And with that, she disappeared into the morning mist, leaving me standing alone amidst the ancient tombstones, forever changed by the horrors I had witnessed in the graveyard down the street.